choose to shop. And now police are looking for the thieves who tied up the manager and his wife and then stole expensive items. Channel 2's Michael Seiden live in Buckhead. And Michael, detectives told you that these thieves clearly had a plan. Justin, no doubt they didn't have any issues at all. In fact, the detective told me that the surveillance video captured them using keys and codes. And once they got inside, they spent two hours cleaning out the safes. When Atlanta police responded to a reported break-in at this high-end jewelry store on Peachtree Road around 2.30 Sunday morning. And they didn't locate anything suspicious at that time. There was no damaged property at the store itself. So they waited outside until the owners of Icebox Diamonds and Watches arrived. The business owners were able to respond. The business owners did find that there had already been a burglary there where some an unknown amount of jewelry was taken from the safes at the location. Police say one of the two thieves seen on surveillance cleaning out multiple safes was also involved in a violent home invasion. It happened Saturday night around 930. That's when investigators say two armed men wearing masks followed the manager and his wife to their home in Smyrna where they tied up the couple and stole the keys to the store. We stopped by that Cobb County home on Monday, but no one was there. Police tell us the robbers also forced the manager to give up the codes to the safe. Well, they obviously knew exactly what they wanted to do and were able to execute it. And right now, detectives are working to identify three suspects, but there could be more. That's because they say surveillance video shows those two thieves inside talking to somebody using FaceTime on their phones. They believe that person may have been trying to walk them through uh, unlocking those safes. Again, we are working hard to get that video, and as soon as police release it, we will show you. So Icebox is back in the news, bro. Every other day, somebody's hitting a lick, somebody's getting robbed. Shit is getting wild, to say the least. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure by now you've heard about Icebox. It's the spot to pull up on when you got bread. You gotta pull up to Icebox. Of course, I'm broke as fuck. I can't even probably make it to the fucking parking lot. But less than 24 hours ago, some diligent and dedicated goons i gotta fucking say this again some diligent and dedicated motherfucking goons pulled off in oceans 11 12 robbery i can't even make this shit up according to reports circulating online two gunmen followed the owner to the crib came through the front door bussing and told him like yo give us the keys give us the motherfucking codes before i blast your bitch ass of course he, you know he gave it up nothing's worth more than your life so the owner gave up the keys, gave up the codes, and that's when one of the suspects stayed at the crib and the other two went to the shop, took their sweet motherfucking time, cleaned out every safe, every fucking case, like some real life GTA 5 shit. Apparently the cops are looking for three suspects as of right now. It's not clear how long they're following the manager, the owner, but damn, real life shit people real life shit be careful this shit just doesn't happen in the movies be careful like i mentioned earlier give your shit up nothing's worth more than your life but damn icebox getting hit up damn 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 your boy alfred will keep you updated if there's any developments thank you so much